and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm simply titling it ripping around or ripping around on the aerial rider grizzly Squeaky bake break. Once again, we're in an area with no bike lane. So we're kind of in with the cars. You know, it's kind of nice to get out and crank the speed up a little bit. Once in a while, you just kind of got to let it go. I uh, pumped up the uh, E Huntsman tires to uh, PSI uh, to 30. Uh, they recommend 8 to 20, maximum 36, and I thought I'm going to give them a little extra uh, air there, get them a little bit more firm, and because I'm mostly uh, road riding, so you want them fairly firm for the road. Going to be turning here. Whoa. 
That's the problem with these uh, electric bikes. We sneak up on people and they don't know we're there. They don't, they don't hear us coming. We're not a motorcycle. Uh, we're not a gas powered motorcycle. I love the silence. I could have rang my bell. It really is addicting when you get out here riding on the e-bike. You just want to ride forever. It's a, so much fun. If you've never done it before, get out there and try it. And maybe you can do a test ride on a bike, or maybe you know somebody that has one. Give it a shot. You'll love it. They are a ton of fun. They bring the kid back out in you. Although with me, the kid part never went away. <laughs> But once a kid, always a kid for me, but it is a lot of fun riding the electric bike around. And I'm kind of lucky to have three bikes right now because you get to pick and choose what you want to ride. And uh, I don't think I'm done at three. I, I can see uh, another bike or two coming in my future, but I don't know where I would draw the line. I've talked about this in the past, but now I'm thinking as long as I have room for it, I think I could have a half a dozen. I think I could do six bikes. Beyond that, I think I'd start having to get rid of a few because get, it would be get get to be too many. And you're limited for space. And Enjoying the uh, riding around here and enjoying my vacation week. That's what I'm on right now as I'm on vacation and it's a e-bike riding vacation. Which I kind of like. Well, those posts are so close together but we can do it. Of any display I've seen on a bike, kind of like the one on this. That display right here is as good as you're going to get. It's colored, easy to read, it's got lots of information on there. Debating on going straight, but I'm going to go this way. I'll go down.
So if you have a comment you'd like to make on this or any other video on the channel, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. Here's another problem right here with the bike lane. We have a bike lane and we have those in the way. Recycle and trash cans in the bike lane. Uh, something is wrong here with this picture. Such is life as an e-biker. We have to get around the elements. Doesn't make sense to me. I guess they're going to say, where are they supposed to put their cans? Which is true. I don't know how you fix it. Well, I do know how I'd like to fix it, but it's not going to happen. I'd like my own separate lane then it would avoid something like that. I mean, I would like completely separate from the road. Give us a bike path, a bike lane beside the main road. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video here on the channel. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. If you have a comment you'd like to make on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below.
once again thank you for joining me today and until next time take care